I pretty much love vintage cards. I don't even care if the player is any good. And this guy might be. I mean, I don't even know how to say his name properly. But uh, anyways, that's not the point of the video. The point of this one, you see, guys, I just want to show you a couple quick things you can do with vintage cards to just rehab them and get them in better shape. There's like dents in the front. There's a there's a crease right there. There's a crease right there. All right, so just something that kind of along the lines of stuff that I've been working on lately to show off is just little tips and tricks with um, vintage. And it's not a quick thing. You usually got to use the humidor and stuff, but there's like some, some of the sticky stuff on the back. And here's my little quick techniques for these types of cards, guys. So I just got a little bit of card spray on a cotton square, okay? So what I'm gonna gently do is just, I'm just gonna tap the front of the card a few times over these dents. I'm literally just tapping the, tapping the dents. These cards are old and brittle and dry. I don't suggest scrubbing them, just tap. Tap over the, over the dents. Just like that, okay? So this usually takes a couple cycles. So I'm just gonna get it a little bit damp. It looks like there's one in his arm. Okay, that's it. That's it for the front, okay? So now on the back, kind of the same same deal. Those bends are, I got one right there and right there. So what I'll do next is, oh, I also wanna try to get rid of this, this this gunk right here too. So what I'm gonna do right now is just tap, tap, tap right on top of this. Sometimes these old dried on waxes will not come off. Um, and if you guys are new to watching my work and going, oh my God, you're getting the car a little wet. I'm not, here's the deal. Yeah, it's a little damp, but I'm not soaking it by any means. That's, I wouldn't wanna, if it's, if it's all wet, it's not gonna do you any good. But if you can just, tap a little bit where those creases are right there so we'll flip it over and that means just a little, add a little bit of moisture right there okay and then we had one right there so the back of that is right here and i'm just you know learning a few things with these older cards and some of these wax some of this wax is on here pretty darn good but i'm just tapping on it to seeing if it will ever come loose and while you're at it you know with the corners that are bent you can just add a little bit of moisture to them okay let's see how the front looks see see this one right here so what i'll do with that is just gently pull it down again just just a little blot of moisture on it like that and that's all I need to do right now. So I'm gonna make this step two. So after we applied the little bit of card spray on the, the, the dented areas and the uh, creases, I just wanted to, while the card has a little bit of moisture in there, I just wanna retain it between my two discs, okay? So I just wanna let it to kinda of like get the new memory of being you know flat and smooth again like it was made years ago. And then I'm gonna take it out of this and I'm gonna put it in the humidor just to, for the final touches. Even though the humidor is humid, it will still dry in there, all right? And I just want it to slowly dry because if you ever have to use a little bit of moisture on a card, the worst thing you can do is just let it dry like by itself. Like for example, like my business cards, like picture if I got this wet and I just let it dry on the table, it's gonna look like that. But if you get it a little moist first, and then hold it in place, and then let it reacclimate with some humid air, it will go nice and flat for you, okay? So stay tuned, I'll keep you posted. So that's part two, we're just gonna let this hang out in here for, I'd say I'll probably keep it in here for 45 minutes, an hour, and then I'll put it in the humidor and I'll pick it up from there. All right, let's pick up part three. So where I left off last time, we had the, the card retaining between the two plexiglass discs. And so I let it sit there for probably, hour and a half, two hours. 
and then I put it right in the humidor and I noticed right away that some of those trouble areas like worked with us and went down and I just wanted it to reacclimate and just come back to its flat position. So let me show you where we're at right now. So this was one that we were working on. And as you remember, it had some a bend underneath his arm, which you can kind of still see a tiny little bit where it was. It had thumbnail prints in the front that are gone. And I had another heavy crease over here that you can still see the remnants of it. But let's check out the, the corners look great. Let's take a look at the back. And even look at that, some of that um, stain from the, the wax or the wax pack or the gum or whatever, even reduced. And the corners look awesome. So fun, right? I mean, that's just uh, little things I'll do and little tests I'll do on the variety of cards that we get to work on. And I mean, clearly it's an old card, but God, it looks great. So I just love restoring cards and I appreciate you watching and I hope you have fun uh, doing this yourself. And, you know, anytime you have questions, feel free to reach out. Always happy to catch up and talk cards. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. Trailer of Sailor Ring Ain't got no cigarettes but Trailer of Sailor Ring